Hello guys, it's Michael here from Music for Income. So I just want to talk to you a little bit today about really thickening up bass lines if that's something that you need to do for one of your tracks. So I've got a track here that I'm working on and the bass line is really prominent within the whole track. So I want to make sure that it's as thick and full and really cuts across the mix. The technique that I'm going to use with that, which I use a lot, is to actually layer up two basses effectively. Now that should really thicken the sound quite nicely, but you want to take care when you're doing this because there are some qualities that you can lose if you don't layer up basses in the right way. The first thing I'd say is most of the time you want to layer up two different bases and you want to know what each one's doing. So for example, you might often want one for attack and another one to give a little bit of more low end and weight behind it. There's a whole load of variations, but I would say, first of all, try and figure out why you're using these particular two bases. If you use two bases that essentially do the same thing, I'm not saying that it couldn't work, but a lot of the time you might find yourself really going down some dead ends in trying to get a good sound there. So let's have a look at the track that I'm working on here. I've got a drum and percussion line going on and I've written myself a little simple bass line which goes like this. Pretty simple. Now, that bass line at the moment is a muted staccato type bass guitar feel. It's short, pretty punchy. It sounds nice on its own, but I wanna get it sounding a little bit more interesting and a little bit fuller sounding. So I've found that I'd like to combine that bass with another bass. And again, on the complementary front, this is gonna be a bit more of a squelchy kind of sound that I think works well. So let's listen to the new bass and that one you just heard together. So again, here's the uh, first one on its own. And then adding the other bass. So to effectively blend the basses, what you'll wanna do is usually take what is your most prominent or what you want to be your most prominent bass, which in my case is the muted staccato one here. And then just fade up as you're looping that initial bass, fade up the new bass and just see at what point you like the blend between the two. Let's try doing that. So we'll take this bass right down, loop it. And just bring up this other bass now. So I really like that. It adds something, adds another dimension, a little bit of, of low end, but mainly it's that squelch that I like that gives the bass line a little bit of thickness and also some character within this track. It's not just a straight bass guitar line. So a lot of this is about finding bass sounds that really complement each other, as we said before. If you're looking at sounds that do that as opposed to just straight duplicate each other, you'll be on the right track. But what I will say is, Try and make a note whenever you find two complementing bass sounds because then you can pull that combination up very quickly. There are certain things where you just know it goes together, like cooking, salt and pepper, you know, like food, fish and chips, hamburger and fries. Those things go together. So if you find two bases that you're like, I love the sound of these together, make a note of it. And then you've got that when you're writing tracks in that genre, it can be part of a signature sound you use, or it just might be something that cuts across the same way as you'd save presets on a plugin that you really like. The last thing is check out tracks in the genre that you write in and really try and listen to what sound the bass gets and think to yourself how you could combine some of the basses in your DAW or the third party plugins that you've got to try and emulate the sounds that those tracks are getting. Sometimes even if you don't actually get quite what that track was doing, you'll end up with something very, very usable within that genre. 
So I hope this has given you some food for thought and something to mess around with with your tracks of combining different basses. We all know that you can layer guitars and those things, but you can layer bass up and get some nice thick punchy bass sounds going on too. This little snippet has been taken from the library music that sells course over at www.musicforincome.com. If you want to get your tracks earning you an income, go and check the URL down in the comments, visit that site. You can find the library music that sells course and a bunch of other resources there.